Welcome back to the Crochet Corrado. So it's my friends at Yarnspirations.com. We have a pattern by Moogly, AKA Tamra Kelly, and this is a finger crochet blanket. This is using four balls of Bernat Blanket Extra. And when you're using these, you are going to put two plies together and pretend that it's one to thicken it up to give it the look that this blanket has. This is a very simple beginner level project. And without further ado, we're gonna get started right away. First things first, you need to get organized and you can either use the interior and the exterior of the same ball or just easier just to grab two different balls and just put them together. So you, you don't have to have the same color, they could be different colors and you're going to start. So let's begin to do the slip knot first. To do the slip knot, you're going to just pretend that this is one strand and you are going to open your hand and you're going to put it around your finger twice. Don't waste too much yarn, but you want to leave enough of it so that you can use that to weave in the ends. At the end of this tutorial, there's going to be a link in the video description for where the free pattern is, and I will put on how to do the tail ends in that video on how to secure them. So if you ever run out of yarn, that's a great way to do it. So you're going to have two strands going over top of your hand. So just pretend they're together. So you're going to take the back one, go up and over and then take the new back one and up and over top of your finger like that. So both of the strands are together as one. Let's repeat this again. So just, here's your yarn, here's your hand, and go up and over your finger twice. Close your hand, and if you don't see the two different pieces, then just do the back one going up and over, and then new back one, up and over. So if you know how to do a slip knot, you can do it any way that you wish, and this will be the starting knot, which will kick off your crochet project. So you can just tighten things down a little bit, and we're gonna get started in making the beginning chain. So Tamara has a couple notes for us. When we are doing chain work, she wants us to use two fingers, and when she wants us to do single crochet, she wants us to use Sorry, I have a hard time moving this finger on its own. She wants us to use three fingers. So when we go to start our chain, this one does not count as one and we only need to chain 21. So to do that, we are just going to grab the yarn and we are going to pull it through this. So the two strands together as one, pull through and she's recommending two fingers, okay? So once that two fingers are in, just open it up, your hand up a little bit and pull again through. So stick two fingers in, pinch it through, and pull. So in, and pull. And I've not been counting, so we only want to do 21 of those. So if you want to restart, just start again and you can start counting. And maybe you want to practice a little bit. There's no harm in that. So start again. So we just go through, pull through. So there's one, two, three, four, and we got five. So I need you to go all the way to 21 and meet me back here in just a moment and you should have a nice easy going chain just like that. So let's begin our first row. So we have our nice chain. It's not twisted in any kind of weird ways. It's just sitting flat like this. And what we need to do is that we need to play within the, the top pieces of all the chains so that you see. So to start, you're not going to play within this one because it's coming out of the same hole. So your first stitch is right here. So put your two fingers in and go right into this hole. So just move your hand around and going in. Use this strand, pinch it between your two fingers like that and just pull through that chain work. And pull through enough that you can get your second finger back through that same loop. Pinch and now pull through the two and that's a single crochet. Just pull enough that you can keep two fingers. Okay, so your next one is right here. See how it's kind of opened up for you? So we're gonna use our two fingers. We're gonna go in, 
pinch, pull through the chain, move your two fingers back into that new loop, pinch, and pull through. And then put your two fingers back in. So you're going to keep moving down your chain. Here's your next one. So in, pull through, and in, pull through two. So the two loops that you see, so you pull through the rest. And just pull it enough just to get your hands reset and then just kind of lean it back. You can see the next one is right here. So I need you to go all the way down your chain doing single crochet, just how you see it here on screen. Okay, and I'll see you at the end of the chain in a moment. So I'm coming all the way to the very last one right here, and I'm going in. So you should have a total count of 20 chains, or 20 stitches at the end, and you'll be able to count those through. So I'm just doing a small swatch with you, but okay, so I will be honest with you, this is my fourth attempt, and because I need to be consistent and this is not my regular craft. So you may have to practice a few times, and even if you just do one or two lines, pull it all back out and restart, you'll find that you'll be a lot more consistent with it. At the end of this row, you're just gonna turn your work, okay, release more yarn from the balls, and so that you're ready, and you're going to start row number two. I'm going to lean this forward. So on the tops of the stitches, if you're used to crochet, you can kind of see the V shapes which make up a crochet stitch. So if you were to stick your hook through, you would do both of these sides and that's one stitch. If you pick up the first one, which you have to go down, uh, sorry, come up from the bottom and up like this to uh, secure it, this is the front loop. If you do the other one and go down through the middle, through at the back, that's the back loop. And so in rows number two and three, we're either playing on one or the other, we're never gonna play in, the, in both. And what this is, is because this yarn is so dense, like your host, is that if you go into both stitches, you're gonna make this so um, tight. So uh, Tamara has us doing this. So let's just pick up the yarn into our two fingers. And this is our very first stitch right here. But before we start, we're going to pinch, and pull through the yarn to chain one and then just replace your two fingers in. So this is our first stitch. It's coming out of the same one, if you follow it up, and it's right here. It's in the back loop only. So use your two fingers and go down, separate the top there and just go down and pinch and pull through. Put your two fingers back in and then just yarn over, pull through there. I keep saying yarn over, but it's really just pinch and pull. It's because I'm used to crochet. So now let's go for the rest of them. So if you went into both, it'd be a full stitch. You go into the here, it's a front loop, here it's the back. This whole row is always gonna be a back loop only. So just going in here, stick your two fingers down through it, pinch, pull, Put your two fingers back in, pinch, and pull, and reset your hand. Make sure that the yarn is coming to your project without any tension. So here's your next one. So dive in between, pull, and pull. Okay, nice and easy. So don't stress it, just use this as almost like hand exercises. So going in, pull, reset, pinch, and pull. So please go all the way down to the end of the line and I'll show you how to finish off the end and I'll be right back in a moment. So I'm coming up to my very last stitch. You can see it's kind of a shelf on its own and I still only want to use the back loop only. So just going in, pinch, pull, and back in, pinch, and pull through two. So every time you have row number two, that's what it's always gonna be. It's gonna be in the back loop only. Let's turn our work around. 
look at the texture on this, and we're going to move on to round number or row number three, which will be the end of the repeat. So whenever you have row number three, just restart, put your fingers in. You're going to pinch and pull through the first loop, and that will be your chain one. Replace your two fingers. So in this particular row, what we're going to do is play on the front loop only. So we would have technically gone through here through the back loop, but in this case, we want to play with the front loop. And in order to do that, we have to move our hand down and go up. And we're going to pinch, pull through, reset, and pinch and pull through too. So you're using just the front loop only and reset. So now that you did that one, okay, so if you look at it and you go through everything, that's a full stitch. This is the back loop, this is the front loop. So on row number three, you, to get the front loop, you go up, pinch, pull, reset, pinch, and pull. Okay, just look for the next one right here. So go up, pinch, pull, reset, pinch, pull through two. And so that's all you're going to do all the way across. So get the next one, up, pinch, pull, reset, pinch, pull through the two. And so this will be working on the front loops only. And you'll see that this has a really cool texture to it. And once you really get moving on this, it's really good exercise for your hands. So let's continue all the way down to the end. So you keep going all the way down to the end. You should always have the same number of stitches in the tops. Okay, so there will always be 20 stitches. So if you did a different count, make sure you always do that. Don't forget to go into the very last one because then you'll be missing a stitch. Okay, and so that would be the end of there. So you can count the tops of your stitches. So one, two, three, four, and go all the way down to the end and it should be the same number. So all you need to do now is that you just need to turn your work and begin row number two again. And in row number two, if you recall, you just chain one and then you use the back loops only for single crochet and whip yourself across. Turn your work, chain one, and go front loops, single crochet all the way across and you keep going back and forth until you're over. So once you're at the very, what, you're gonna end up running out of yarn at some point. So what I'm gonna do, as I mentioned, I'm gonna put in the video description, there's a link for the free pattern. Go to that link and I'm gonna put a video there on how to deal with these yarns. You actually, if you're using two different balls, you may not actually finish at the exact same moment. Um, so I will show you how to weave in ends and you're gonna wanna weave these in separately from each other. And then at the very end of the project, you're gonna wanna weave in the final tails and then also weave in the final. Um, starting tails that you had using the same technique. And this would be how to use the three hour hand crochet throw by Moogly, AKA Tamara Kelly. And that's it for today. We hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.